What is up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today I will share with you guys my number one favorite loadout for Battle Royale. You can use five custom loadouts and in BR, anytime we'll go to the airdrop, you can pick up one of your customized loadouts. It's brand new for season nine. Of course, you see the AK-117 at the bottom. It's no surprise. It's been my favorite gun for a long, long time, many seasons in a row. Of course, I try a bunch of different guns just to keep it fun, keep it different. I really love the M4. I use a bunch of weapons, but I always go back to AK-117. I was grinding the Tenju this week on stream. Now, I've been struggling a little bit. I had some tough games, but then I went back to the 117 and started clutching and having great games. So, of course, I got some gameplay for you, but I will show you all the attachments, the gunsmith for the 117. It is a BR loadout. Some of you guys will not like it for multiplayer because it's very slow. The mobility is not great. It's a freaking laser. It's got extra range. It's got really good damage. It's perfect for Battle Royale. And it depends on your play style also. I know some guys like to go uh, up close with SMGs and stuff like that. Even shotguns. But because of my play style, I fight a lot from long range, medium long range. This weapon is perfect for my play style. So let's get into the loadout, guys. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. So here's the gunsmith, and you will see the stats right now in green. Accuracy, <laughs> top-notch accuracy, the extra range, always good for me, and control, aka recoil control, uh, vertical recoil, and stuff like that. But you see the more attachments you put, usually you will lose in the mobility, so movement speed, ADS speed, it's pretty bad, but I don't think it's an issue in BR because of my play style. I really don't... You don't find yourself often in a building and surprisingly be face to face with someone at close range. Usually, you see what's going on and you decide to pick a fight. You have time to aim. Most of the time, I mean. Even in the final circle. So, again, depends on your play style. But I value these stats and it's what I do when I farm my headshots in multiplayer also. Accuracy, control and range is always important so your bullet will go where you want it. So, no muzzle. And I went with the OWC Marksman Barrel and you see here the stats for the barrel. ADS, accuracy, uh, damage range of course. And lateral recoil stability uh, then optics again it's not something you absolutely need but i feel more comfortable with the red dot sight i use red dot one you can just go with whatever you like and if you feel you don't need an optic on your 117 because the iron sight is pretty good you could go with a perk for real or maybe a laser but i don't think i would go laser you could use a perk you could use a stock and most likely the stock will help with your mobility which is uh, the stats that's lacking the most in this build. So that would be a good change if you guys feel you want more mobility, you don't need the, the optics, go for it, guys. It's going to be a great, great uh, change to the build. Now, the bottom row, I always go with the 40 mag on pretty much all my weapons. I like the extra ammo, and I don't like having even more reduced mobility just to have a few more bullets. So this is my number one choice for pretty much all my weapons. Now the under barrel is the tactical foregrip. Now this one you unlock at a higher level. If you don't have it unlocked, my number one choice at lower levels is always the ranger foregrip. Uh, this one you unlock early. You will lose a bit of stats, but not that much for real. It's a great, great foregrip. And it's the one I use in multiplayer on most of my weapons that are not max level. So ranger foregrip is a very good one until you unlock the tactical foregrip to me is the best one now the last one is the rare grip and here again you have some options uh the one here i'm using is the granulated grip tape and if you don't need the super high accuracy you could sacrifice some accuracy for more mobility and better control so you're gonna lose quite a bit of accuracy so this is good for long range that would be better for medium range or close range so better control, better ADS, uh, but less accuracy. It's not going to make a huge difference if you're closer to your target. So you can adjust depending on your playstyle. You can swap some stuff here and there. That's my build. That's what I'm using right now. And I had tons of questions on stream. I started clutching a few games. I've done pretty well with this. 
And people were asking on stream what attachments you're using, what's your gunsmith for the 117. So I decided to make a video just for that, to share with you guys. And yeah, I love it. My favorite weapon in BR. Hope you guys will try this build and let me know how it's working for you. Now I have some gameplay for you, of course. End of the game, everyone starts dying. I end up 1v3 with that 117, no sniper ammo, long range situation. And uh, I said, if these guys push me, I'm dead. They pushed, but not all at once. They pushed one by one. I was able to pick them off. Great game, was a lot of fun on stream. So enjoy the gameplay. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Smash like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile vids. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Yeah, over there. Enemy spotted. The safe zone is Bro, we gotta move. Save zone. These guys have the Careful. best spot. Poltergeist is nearby. Your teammate has been killed. Piece of crap. I need to go, man. What am I gonna do? These guys got top of the hill over there. Enemy spotted. It's 4v2. 2v. It's 1v. It's 2v4. See that? Yo, purple, don't die, dude. What? No sniper ammo. Yo, purple, if you can come with me, man, we're we're Gucci. Crap. Bruh, they got snipers. Purple's dead, it's 1v3, I'm dead. If they push me, I'm dead. Do I have smoke? No! He's pushing. I see you flinch. I needed that. <laughs>